It's probably actually uh, sort of the most exciting motor show these days. Uh, it's, 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 it's a vibrant place, full of innovation uh, from us, but actually from the marketplace uh, overall. Uh, every year you come here, you see stuff that you've never heard of, never seen of. The customer is changing fast, uh, very, very demanding. And I think you just have to be here to understand uh, basically what customers will demand from us as a Volkswagen brand in the years to come. And a very, very fascinating place to be in. Well, basically our best sellers are La Vida and Sagita. Basically the cars that have been localized and actually designed for the Chinese market, they're only sold here and they're the backbone of both of our joint ventures uh, in the current market. But the market is shifting, so uh, we, we expect actually SUVs to become the, the sort of becoming best sellers of the years to come. We, we are actually dominant number one here in China. If you combine our, our two joint ventures, our market share is around 13%. The next biggest brand is 5%, it's Honda uh, in the moment. And obviously we are now on the brink of actually a big launch wave of SUVs for the Chinese market, like the global market. Chinese car buyers want SUVs uh, and they will get them from us uh, this year, next year and the year after, 2019. So we expect actually to defend our share and maybe actually having a good opportunity to regrow uh, actually even, even on the platform that we have today. Well, basically, the matter of the fact is that we're selling 50% uh, of our of global production here in China. And actually, all of that production is coming from China. It's basically completely localized. This is a home footprint, a home market for us. Uh, actually, we're spending a lot of time here in China as we see this as, as our home turf. So we are extremely satisfied with basically our position here in the marketplace. And we continue to build uh, basically on our uh, sort of traditional success with new cars, new launches. The SUV waves is just ahead of us and then we're launching now as an electric model family for the next decade. I think one of, one of the facts is that this is a net natural effect, especially the market is really maturing fast. The, the amount of, the sort of alternatives is growing basically by the minute, which is a natural effect that the old, the old sort of strength cannot be, be held in, in a new competitive environment. No, nevertheless, we count on actually our new um, SUV families from both the ventures to really restore much of, of the strength um, of, of the past. Uh, cu customers of today regard SUVs as the innovation move uh, and uh, we will get to that in a very short time frame. We have two new SUVs here on the Shanghai Motor Show already and there is a lot more to come in the next two years. So you should count on Volkswagen be, so regaining is the, the strength of the past. Well, clearly the theme of the future here in China. Uh, we expect China to be uh, very rapidly number one e-mobility uh, e market globally. Uh, uh, basically, uh, we, we actually have the objective to sell one million electric cars for the year 2025, and 600,000 of those one million will be sold here in, in China. Uh, uh, so no wonder we've just launched our new ID uh, Cross uh, sort of uh, SUV, uh, basically here in uh, in China, uh, because this will be a global car, but actually ha obviously have uh, dominant uh, importance and uh, utmost importance here for the Chinese uh, customer. That's the current demand. You see, you see the, with the flocks of customers around the car, new design, new range, exciting actually new story to be told in the Volkswagen brand. That clearly is a big part of our future. Not the only one, but a big one. Thank you.